breaking bedrock isn't particularly intended in Minecraft. And by that I mean survival Minecraft. There are some glitches that have always been in the game to break bedrock, such as using different saplings under it. Uh, I think there was a Sieg method. There's, of course, a piston method where you blow up the piston head with TNT. All sorts of methods have existed. I think there was even one with like the Ender Dragon Egg in unloaded chunks or something like that. But I figured it would be cool if I made a machine to break bedrock. So here is the absolute behemoth of a machine and the recipe for it is about as expensive as you might expect. We can scroll down to the very bottom to find the bedrock breaker. You can see that the recipe needs two obsidian gears, a heavy casing, two compressed obsidian, a diamond core, two diamond blocks, and a laser focus. All of those recipes are in this list and I will throw them all up on screen right now. And like all of my other machines, these need to be made in the machine crafter. So just use this as a crafting table like such to get all of the items. So here I have the diamond core and you would do all of the others in here and then craft your bedrock breaker. Cool, so we know how to get our bedrock breaker, but how do we use it and where? While the bedrock breaker can be used anywhere, it is primarily meant for use on the nether ceiling. So if you didn't know, the nether actually has a ceiling to it that's only halfway up in the world. So we can actually build higher and it's really good for building farms and stuff up here. But we can place the bedrock breaker up here and you'll see it's not currently breaking bedrock. That's because we actually need to fuel it. To fuel the bedrock breaker, you need to place 10 pearls into the dropper here. That is what this core item is. And that will shoot a laser down into the ground that will slowly break the bedrock. I chose ender pearls because they are rather expensive as an early game item, but later in the game, especially after you beat the dragon, they can become pretty trivial. So you can see you will be shooting the laser and the pearls will slowly drain until the block gets broken. Then it will start working on the next one. It can shoot, I believe, four or five blocks down. Um, and uh, yeah, it will just slowly cut through the bedrock. But we hit nether rack, so we'll need to remove the nether rack before we can begin working on the next bedrock because there can only be air between uh, the, the bedrock that we're breaking. And just like that, we have gotten through the bedrock ceiling. And of course, as I was mentioning earlier, you could use this literally anywhere where there's bedrock. You just have to place this above the bedrock and it will break it. But uh, yeah, anyway, that is all I have for this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on it. I have a ton more machines videos coming out in the future. I think I have like six or seven of them already planned. So. If uh, that's something you're interested, hit that subscribe button. You will not regret it unless you do. Then just unsubscribe if, if you uh, regret it. All right. Thanks for watching.